Hey fellow world wearers, it's Angry Turtle and today I have for you updated Rambo Commando build for both Tesla Rifle and Enclave Flamer. Those two weapons are the weapons mastered with this build and let's go into some details. First, the special before extra points from legendary perks as, is as follows and then the legendary perks. As you can see, I have 20 special added. If you don't have it, it's possible to still run this build with a little bit cut down version. I will let you know what you can cut out. Then I'm using Master Infiltrator for my convenience and taking one for the team. That seems to be working slightly better after last part. Still not perfect. As well, alternatively, you can put on those two slots fire resistance, poison resistance, or try to get those on armor pieces. Now the perks. This is incredibly tanky build. It's not easy to die with it. It can face almost anything. So under strength we have traveling pharmacy, blocker and one rank of barbarian. This is mostly for tankiness, traveling pharmacy for carrying some extra stims. Perception, 14 perception or commando perks max out Max out Grenadier and, and Tank Killer. There is no Ground Pounder, but Ground Pounder could be very helpful. So if you want, you can try to run lower ranks of Commando perks and use Ground Pounder for faster reload. I notice I prefer to reload slower and have higher damage. Now, if you are a lower level and you don't have all this special, what you can cut down? You can use rank 1 of each commando perks, you will save 6 points here. You can skip revenant, that's 8 points saved. You can then skip some ranks of adrenaline, use rank 1, so you have 12 points saved. If you still need to save more, you can skip ricochet and bloody mess, which will be 18 points saved, so you should be able to pull this build. Now, Revenant is a cool little perk that can give you extra damage when you need it, that's for boss fights. As you probably notice, I do not emphasize VATs in here, and there is a reason for that, a good reason I will explain as we go into the gear section. Uh, then there is Life Giver Fireproof for extra tankiness. Even if you don't really have any fire resistance, you should be able with this build face most of the fire damage. Then we have Tenderizer and Strength in Numbers under Charisma to improve our damage. Then under Intelligence we have 12 Intelligence, Patches included, Ned Rage, all Science perks. So those perks for damage, but she's included to carry your ammo, as it is all energy ammo. Can be useful to have some extra carry weight. Under agility, max out adrenaline for damage. Max out dodgy to tank those enemies. Evasive for extra tankiness. White knight, so you don't need to constantly repair your armor, as we are not sneaking. And born survival, so you don't need to worry about manual use of the stims. For survival will keep you alive at all times. Then, under luck, we have bloody mess for even more damage. Class freak for tankiness mainly, as we want to reduce the side effects of mutations. Curator, if you want. This one is not necessary, so that's another point you can save. A serendipity for tankiness, ricochet for tankiness, and star genes to keep our mutations. Now the gear and some extra explanation what's going on here. So we'll be using uh, two weapons, the Prime Enclave Plasma Rifle and Quad Tesla Rifle. Quad Tesla is for events, for tagging, it works with Grenadier for higher arc bounce range. And you can kill regular enemies if you don't feel like aiming this particular day. Tesla Rifle will have your back, you just fire ahead, everything around dies, that's how it works, and there is no self-damage, like explosive weapons, you will not damage yourself. Perfect for events and lazy days. Then for the damage purpose we have Enclave Plasma Rifle with a Flamer mod, 
any flamer mod will do at this moment. Doesn't matter if it's aligned or not. I was so happy to have this one with aligned and reflex side. At this point, it's pointless. After the latest patch, the AP cost is fixed at 30. So it's very expensive in VATS. That's why I decided to drop VATS for most part. You still, if you spam coffee a lot, like 30 of cans of coffee or so during the fight, it should be able to support this gun in VATS, but it's, it's just not it. Not what it used to be. It's still amazing outside of VATS. I will show you exactly how this build performs in all its aspects. But that's possible if you have a lot of coffee to burn. And then you can just swap one rank of concentrated fire and you can use it in VATS. But for most part, trust me, you will not use it in VATS. You, you will not be able to afford it. That's the biggest issue. About armor, unyielding, of course, at this moment, unyielding secret service armor. In the future, maybe the new armor that's coming with Expedition will be a better option. But unyielding and whatever other stars if you can get some extra resistance that will be cool like fire or poison if you can't that's fine under apparel we do need grocer's backpack grocer's backpack essential as there is no room for carry weight food perk and if you wish to carry any coffee or colas with you you need it unless you want to give up completely on food then that's fine and shielded under armor secret service for extra resistance and special extra tankiness perfect mutations for this build i recommend adrenal reaction for damage burn bows for extra agility and less fall speed eagle eyes extra perception and crit damage if you choose to use it the penalty is just minus one strength so acceptable egghead for extra intelligence herbivore or carnivore actually with this build Either one will work, just take one. Herd Mentality for free special. Marzupiar for jumping. Scully Skin for extra resistance and tankiness. Speed Demon for move speed and reload. And this is the complete setup. Now let me demonstrate how this build will work. First classic test on the Super Mutants. They are perfect test subject. The representation of the common Appalachian enemy. And look at those teddy bears relaxing. So far as the combat performance on those super mutants, as you can see, they will die rather easily when adrenaline ramp up. It will be even easier when using Enclave Plasma Flamer, you are basically immortal as it's a vampire. If you have vampire, if you have different effect, you are almost immortal. As for most part, your steam packs will keep you alive. And I will show you exactly how well tankiness on this build work. Let's ask those super mutants for some help. And I will even switch a weapon as with the vampire. Even if I'm just holding it, they cannot touch me at all. So let's provoke them a little bit. I switch, I'm switching to a quad Tesla at this moment. I'm intentionally not killing them. And as you can see... Bone survival alone. Okay, I will do one more and temporary unequipped bone survival so you can see what kind of tankiness are we expecting here. Now there is no bone survival. And you can see the damage. A little bit of damage is being done, but it's far from quickly killing you. Then I will try to switch on the bone survival again. And that's with bone survival on, they are not able to out damage it at all and there's a lot of super mutants shooting at me. Now how the Tesla rifle will perform? That's the lazy approach, you don't aim, you just call the trigger and hopefully all the enemies around die. As you can see I killed a lot without aiming. Just shoot ahead, run and that's for lazy days. It will consume a lot of fusion cells. Uh, those are not very hard to come, so you should be okay. The reload, as you can see, without ground pounder, is not the not the snappiest, but I would not say it's too slow to deal with all the enemies, especially that they do die so fast. Your total damage with all the adrenaline stuck up on those weapons, I can show you in here. Tesla rifle going up to 219. The enclave. 132, 132, which is 264. So, yeah, 
the damage is there. The damage is absolutely here. You can you can deal with any enemy. You can tank basically any damage. It's unlikely you will die. If you have a scout banner active, you will get revived. So you good. You good whatever you are doing. In case of flying scourge beast, you will need some weapon with uh, extra range or wait for them to land. Like obviously the Tesla rifle will not do it, but you have all the commando perks. So if you want handmade, fixer, whatever you want with range, you can carry any common weapon will do it for you. You don't need to worry about that, but those two will be main. Tesla will be all events. You will, it will get you covered and enclave on all bosses. Hopefully you have enough coffee to occasionally run it with VATS for ultimate damage. And that being said, this is updated build with all the recent changes. Unfortunately, those changes were not good for Enclave Plasma, but here we are. It still works really well. And let me know what you think. That being said, this is everything for this video. Thank you a lot for watching and see you all in the next one.